So here we are again. We're doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 benchmark test. A lot of people probably want me to move on to other games, but the reason why I'm doing Red Dead Redemption 2 is because it's one of the most poorly optimized games on PC. Uh, at least it was, and it still feels like it is. And I want to run the benchmarks on that first before I move on to any other games when I fine-tune the undervolt and overclocking. And we're going to move on to other games. And then at the end, I'm going to make a big-ass video where we're just going to talk about the whole thing and my first impressions, first impressions, my last impressions of the 3080 at that point. A credit to Tech Yes City on YouTube as well as a GP Report, or, yeah, GP Report on YouTube. I, I'm using utilizing what they use for their undervolting. I just copied and paste what they had in there, just like Tech Yes City also, Tech yes City also copied and pasted from GPU report. But I want to give credit to them because uh, without them, I wouldn't have found a good un undervolt profile. I'm not a very good under, I don't know anything about overclocking or undervolting other than what I'm learning right now doing all of this. So you're coming through with me on this journey. Uh, I want to mention a cliff note on the uh, undervolt. For some reason, the GPU. FPS, the FPS isn't really working on the min and max, at least a little bit, at least on the undervolting one. So I really wouldn't pay attention to the FPS one on the left. I would pay attention to the average FPS at the end of each uh, benchmark in Red Dead Redemption 2. And with that, let's roll right into the Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultra 1440p Ultra Wide. So I forget to mention that. In most of my videos, it's 1440p, but in an ultra wide. So that's why you're seeing different FPSs from other 1440 benchmarks, and all on ultra. So let's roll right into that with the overclock. All right, guys, let's do some overclocking here. What you see here is I've actually got the Ventus set at a plus 44. That's the most stable I got. I want to go over 44. It crashes, everything like that. So 43, 44, at least for this car, is about where it likes. Core voltage plus 100, power limit is stuck at 100%. You can't go above that because have it, the MSI has it locked. And I've got memory clock at plus 500, and I've got my, I have a more aggressive custom fan curve. So that's why you'll see it ramp up a little bit more. It hits around like 78, uh, actually around 80% uh, idle when it's on under load on Red Dead Redemption 2. But for me, that's okay because and noise doesn't bother me because I'm on uh, headphones. Uh, so here you go. You can see everything there. Go ahead and minimize that. Rotate through all the settings. It's all on ultra again. I'm not going to test high anymore because, you know, this thing is just a beast. It just does what it needs to do. All right, and then we're going to run the bitch mark test. All right.
I have since put back on the front panel on my PC because I didn't like the amount of dust that was going to be getting in my PC. Uh, so some people might be concerned about getting close to 80 degrees Celsius, even with my AC running pretty good. But 80 degrees Celsius, as you can see, we're not limited by temperature, we're limited by power on this. Yep, there's the result. You got an average of 74. I think earlier I ran this, I got an average of 76. Uh, but there you go, it being hot and everything. Uh, that's where we're getting at, 74. Still not too bad for Red Dead Redemption 2, I believe that is. So now we're going to move on to undervolting. So here's actually my undervolting uh, profile right now. So I actually copied this from another YouTube video. Uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head when I'm recording this, but it's going to be down in the description below or one of my intros or outros. Uh, so I'm filming this before I do my intro or outro. Recording, sorry, not filming. But uh, as you can see, I basically have it like 800, a little bit above 800, 806. And I had this raised up to 1800 megahertz. And uh, yeah, basically I'm setting it to 0.806 volts uh, and sticking it there. So as you can see, we're getting to the end of this benchmark here. So we're about to see what it is. I will explain that for some reason, when you undervolt, the min max doesn't really work too well, and the 1% lows don't work uh, real low. One, 1.1, 1. 1. so it doesn't work too well. So there you go. So we lost from my original bench with nothing overclocked. It was like 73 something, and then we had 74. So you lost basically four 
FPS undervolting it, but you have a much more stable system. So you lose four FPS in Red Dead Redemption, but you're still 70. I mean, that's still not bad. And you have a more thermally efficient machine. Uh, I'm probably going to stick with the overclock, even though it's slight, because I'm okay with the higher temperatures. But people who are don't like the want to have a custom fan curve and want to have lower temperatures, then uh, go with undervolting. There you go. There are the results, guys. You saw it down there, around uh, 74 for overclock, around 70 uh, FPS with an undervolt on Red Dead 2. Ran those through two full gambits, so went through the two cycles of uh, benchmarks on Red Dead Redemption 2. On both of them, I just shortened it up so that way I wouldn't bore you. Uh, I will say on that, if you haven't noticed, the undervolt for some reason, the min uh, FPS wasn't registering while I'm undervolting. I don't know if that's something with MSI Afterburner, but uh, just fair warning on that. Cliff, uh, cliff note for you later. And I hope you all enjoy this uh, GPU uh, benchmark. And as always, live Gintaka, be Gintaka. See you later, guys.